Good day. So here I will determine the intervals in which the graph of the function is concave up and concave down. So, and for that I'm going to need the second derivative. So let's for, take first the first derivative and then the second derivative. So I'll bring down the 3 multiplied by 2, so I get 6x squared, so subtract 1 from the 3. Then I'll do the same here, 3 times 2, I get 6x to the, to the power of 1, right? We subtract 1 from the 2. And 12x, the derivative of this will be just 12. And uh, finally, the derivative of 6 is just 0 because that's a constant. So now for concavity, I want to take the second derivative and set it equal to 0 to find the inflection points. So I'll bring down a 2 here again, so I'll get 12x and the derivative of negative 6x will be just negative 6 and the derivative of a constant is 0. So I'll set this equal to 0, so 12x equals to 6 because it can add a 6 to both sides of the equation and divide both sides by 12 and x is going to be equal to half. Great, so what what does that mean? Well, so f double prime of x. This is a point of inflection. So that's where you'd find the point of inflection, or an inflection point. And what does that mean? That is where concavity changes for the graph of this function. And now... Now what we're going to need to do is that I will plug in a value smaller than half into the second derivative. And with that, we're going to figure out and see whether the graph is concave up or concave down. So plug in 0. 0 is a good value because it's smaller than half and it's easy. So if I plug in a 0 here, so f double prime of 0, I get 12 times 0 minus 6, so I get negative 6. So the double derivative to the left of half, of x equals half, is negative, which means that there, in this area, or rather, to the left of half, the graph is concave down. But what happens to the, to the right of half? Well, let's plug in uh, another value here. Plug in 1 here, plug in 0, right? Here I'm going to plug in 1. So f double prime of 1. So that's going to be 12 times 1 minus 6. It's just positive 6. So that's positive. When the double derivative is positive, the graph is concave up. When it's negative, it's concave down. And what does that mean? So essentially the graph can look something like this. It's concave down, and then at half, let's pretend that this is going to be x equals half, it changes concavity because that's the point of inflection and then it's concave up. So the graph will look something like like this. So concave down. So it faces down this way, right? Concave down. And here it's concave up. So that's it. That, uh, that is basically the second derivative uh, test. We just figure out concavity and the intervals in which the graph is concave up and concave down.